Hi guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Windows 11 in VMware Workstation. For installing Windows 11, we need to have Windows 11 ISO file. I'll show you how to download it. Open your web browser and go to uptimp.net. This site provides data from Microsoft Server, so it is safe to use. I have given you link in the description below. Now, scroll down. And we can see the latest dev channel build. On the right hand side, we need to select architectures according to our requirements. I am going to select x64. Here, we can see Windows 11 updated build. Click on it. Now, choose language, then click on next. Here, we can choose Windows editions according to our requirements. I am going to select Windows Home and Windows Pro. Then, click on Next. Now, on Download Method, we can select Download and Convert to ISO or Download, Add Additional Editions and Convert to ISO. I am going to select this for selecting the additional editions, which I want. Here, on Conversion Options, select Use Solid ESD Compression for creating an ISO file. Then, select Edition, which you want and click on Create Download Package. After downloading, go to the download location. Here, extract the downloaded file. Open the folder. Run the script file as administrator. Command prompt appears. It is going to download Windows 11 files from Microsoft Server. As we can see, downloading has started. It will take time, according to our internet speed. It has been downloaded. Now, it is preparing to create an ISO file. It will take around 2 hours. Windows 11 ISO file has been created. Press 0 to exit the command prompt. As we can see, here is the ISO file. Now, let's begin the installation process. Open VMware Workstation. Here, click on Create a new virtual machine. New virtual machine wizard appears. It will ask, what type of configuration do you want? Choose custom for advanced configuration. Click on Next. Leave it default. Click Next. Here, we need to select Windows installation media. Like ISO file. But we are going with this option. We will insert Windows installation ISO file after creating the virtual machine. Now, we will select Operating System. I have VMware Workstation 15.5 Pro, and it is not up to date. So here, it does not have Windows 11 version. We can go with Windows 10. Click on Next. Here, we can change Virtual Machine's name or location. Click Next. Choose Virtual Machine Firmware according to your requirements. I'm going with BIOS. Click Next. Here, select the number of processors and set them according to your hardware configuration. Click on Next. Now, set RAM according to your hardware. I'm going to set it to 4 GB. Click Next. Here, go with the default option. Click Next. Next. Again, Next. Here, we will go with create a new virtual disk. We can also reuse an existing virtual disk. Click on next. Now, set the disk size according to your requirements. I'm going with default size. Here, select this option. This option will store virtual disk into a single file. Click next. Again, click on next. Before finishing, we will customize hardware. Click on it. Here, we can customize RAM, CPU. Click on New CD DVD SATA, and on the right hand side, click on Use ISO Image File, and browse Windows 11 ISO File. Close, and finish it. Windows 11 Virtual Machine has been created. Now, power on this virtual machine. Click on it. 
As we can see, Windows 11 setup is booting up. Now here, choose language, time zone, and keyboard layout, then click on next. Click on install. Here, it will ask for product key. Simply click on, I don't have a product key. We don't need this, because we are installing Windows in virtual machine. I'm going to install Windows 11 Pro. Choose Windows Edition, according to your requirements. Click on Next. Accept the license terms, and click on Next. Here, we have got two options. Select Custom, because we are doing clean installation. Click on Next. Now, installing has been started. It will take around 15 to 20 minutes. Now, click on Restart. Here, it will take some time and restart several times. Now, select the country. Click Yes. Select Keyboard Layout. Click Yes. If you want to add second keyboard layout, you can add. I'm going to skip it. Now, it will check for new updates and take a little bit time. Here, enter your name, then click on Next. Set Password and set Security Question, then click on Next. Now, scroll down and click on Accept. It is getting ready and it will take some time. Now, Windows 11 has been started successfully, but we don't get a full screen resolution. So, we will need to install VMware tools. Click here on VM, then click on Install VMware tools. After that, Go to File Explorer. Then click on this PC. As we can see, there is VMware Tools Drive. Open it. On the VMware Tools Wizard, click Next. Next. Install it. It will install all the drivers for Virtual Machine. As you can see here, we have got full screen resolution. Finish it and restart it for applying the changes. After that, you can enjoy your Windows 11. Thank you guys for watching our video. Give us a like if you like it and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for new videos.